Um, my name is Annette Klinkert. I am the director of UC. I will talk a bit more about this organization shortly. Uh, when I'm not working for UC, I am uh, the founder and CEO of City to Science, which is a company working uh, to bring together cities and regions, forming alliances which are sustainable, uh, built upon the notion of open innovation, creating uh, formats together, creating formal structures, but also events and strategies linking research institution to strategic economic and urban development. So if, if you're interested in this topic, uh, feel free to uh, ask more about it. I will try to share my screen um, to talk about uh, the European Science Engagement Association. Um, can you see my slides? It seems like it. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Okay, thanks a lot. So I will try to um, make it a full screen. Okay, so this should work now. Uh, so today I'm talking about the European Science Engagement um, Platform, which has been developed by a community of public engagement and science communication professionals. And before introducing the platform, let me talk about who we are and what we do um, so that you can find out whether this could be an interesting community for you to join. We are very open to include new members, interested colleagues working in the field of SciComm and public engagement across Europe. So if you find what we do is interesting, please stay in touch and let us know. Uh, we can include you to our newsletters, invite you to the conferences. It's a very open network. So here we are, you see the European Science Engagement Association. We are an international community of public engagement professionals. Our organization was founded in 2001, so we just celebrated our 20th uh, anniversary. We have more than 110, even 120 today, I think it is, member organizations across Europe and beyond. We have members in Russia, in Georgia, in uh, we collaborate with China, with South African colleagues, so our connections go way beyond Europe. And what we do is to support innovative engagement strategies and dialogues between science and society. This is our structure. We have a lot of universities and research institutions. More and more of these institutions are joining in as they see the need uh, for science communication and public engagement as an integrated part of their research process. So we have more and more new applications from this side. We have some enthusiastic individuals doing SciComm, some science centers and museums. We have foundations on board, science festivals, science show organizers, but also municipalities and re regions join in with their science offices, uh, national science institutions, academies, societies, and some SMEs. So this is our structure. The events we conduct are really diverse and they keep changing monthly, uh, basically, especially in the pandemic. A lot of new formats have been developed, digital formats, of course. Um, so the range of the activities uh, are very diverse and reflect what is going on in the larger European community in the area of SciComm and engagement. You see some examples here. So from a traditional science festival, uh, we also conduct science parliaments, make affairs, hackathons, public debates, living labs, and you will find all of these on the UC platform. Before I introduce the platform, just a short definition of what public engagement means to us. You will all know that science communication involves all kinds of different formats and ways to communicate. What we mean by public engagement is a two-way process that involves interaction and listening with a goal of generating mutual benefit. This is what is not done by a news article or even by a podcast or a blog. So what we are presenting today and what you see basically is focusing on is how to create this two-way process, how to interact, how to listen to others, and in the end, how to generate mutual benefit, which is not just on the side of the research, but also on the side of your partners, either stakeholders from municipalities, policymakers, citizens, or other experts in various fields. So the reason why we created the platform was that we decided we wanted to provide a set of practical resources for researchers, teachers, trainers, funders, and basically everyone 
who is interested in learning more about public engagement. We also said that we need new methods to engage audience. So this platform is also for us as a qualification opportunity, bringing in the knowledge and the practical experience of our members, sharing it with others, making it available, showing that the world is very diverse when it comes to me methodologies, engaging stakeholders and policymakers. So this is also what we want to show. Here is where you will find the platform. If you look at the website bc.info, you will find an extra slot um, science engagement platform. So if you click on this, uh, you will find a platform that showcases inspiring and innovative ways to engage different publics with science. And the focus is on involving citizens in research and innovation processes across Europe and beyond. The examples you will find may have a certain topic, but most of them show the format and the topic is flexible. So if you have, for example, a science cafe, uh, which is a traditional format, uh, the format is interesting and you can then use it for biotechnology, for physics, for philosophy, for whatever you want, as long as you understand how the format works in practice. So on the platform, you will find around 80 different forms of engagement, plus resources and good reads. Uh, you will find them like this. So you find some tiles which you can click on. If you move your cursor on it, they will turn green and give you a short explanation on what this format is about. Uh, and then when you click the format, you will find a description, you will find videos, uh, sometimes even contact um, persons you can directly get in touch with if you want to know more about uh, the format and uh, you will find digital formats as well as physical ones and I, I would just encourage you to play around with this platform and uh, find the activities you are most interested in. This is just showing a range so you will learn more about workshops which take the idea of a workshop out to the streets you will find something about societal hackathons, about how to do scenario workshops. Uh, you'll find something about tinkering spaces, Hollywood physics, Mars experiments, uh, design thinking workshops. So you see the formats are very different in their size. Uh, and you will find something which can be done by a little small group of researchers right in your very neighborhood, ranging um, from a science cafe to a large science festival and we'll give you some uh, information and background on all these different activities. So you, what you'll get is the name of the activity, its purpose, which is different, of course, uh, for all of these different formats you see. You'll get an information about potential target groups to involve and address a description. Uh, we give you some of the benefits that we see um, are behind each of these activities some hints on the preparation, some main steps to consider, and then what could be even most important, some ex examples, contacts, and further inspiration. You can filter your search um, by either your purpose, your target groups, or some keywords that you want to look at. So you can also play around with this, but I would encourage you to just openly look at all the formats because in the end, it's up to you where you see your purpose and where you see the need and which target groups you may want to address. What you will also find is a range of toolkits and good reads on science engagement, uh, because we thought we should filter for the community where we would see the most interesting tools. So this is not presenting each and every EU project on science communication, but some toolboxes which we found relevant. So you will find a SciComm toolbox with practical advice. The Perform toolkits will give you advice on how to include art into science education methods. You will find something on um, diversity and equality plans, um, on digitalization, on sustainable development goals. So just um, take some time to scroll through all these formats. You will definitely find some resources you can then use. Um, what is important is that we have a European perspective, but we are open and have included examples from other countries, from other parts of the world. And um, if you have any good examples that you would like to share, this platform is for you because we do invite the community to contribute 
their projects if you find them relevant. Um, we will check them and we will um, discuss a bit whether we find them relevant for the overall community. But if you want to submit something, just uh, we can send you a template. Uh, you can get in touch via the website and you can contribute the name of your activity. Again, the purpose that you see, uh, the target group, you would uh, recommend a description. Basically, everything that you will find on the platform is something that you can provide yourself, including examples, videos, anything you would like to share. And if we consider this relevant for the community, we will share it and upload it to the platform. So this is a growing system. Um, and we also have a working group uh, developing and shaping out the content of this platform. So if you want to contribute to this, if you want to know more, um, get in touch with uh, our colleague, Chris Stiles. You will find his email mentioned here. Um, just get in touch. He will also put you on all our distribution lists if you are interested in working together with UC. Um, just feel free to get in touch. Our next conference will be on the 6th and 7th of July in Cork, Ireland. Uh, so please have a look at the website to find out more. The topic will be co-creating the future. So this year's topic will be on co-creation, on bringing together stakeholders, researchers, and other people uh, interested in open innovation processes. So please get in touch. Again, we are a very open community. You're all welcome to join in. If you have any questions, please raise them now if possible, because I may not uh, be able to attend since my Spanish really um, is at the very beginning. I cannot really follow the discussion. So if you have any questions directly, uh, let me know or send us an email anytime um, and we are happy to get in touch with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>